We have to ask you a question. Do you know what Californication looks like? Well, right now, it is the impact of California on the Illinois soybean industry. And WCIA3's ag reporter Stu Ellis explains how helpful that is in this morning's report from the farm. Bill Lapp is an economist who reported to the Illinois Soybean Association recently about the explosion in demand of renewable diesel fuel made from soybean oil. He calls it uh, Californication. It's been uh, part of California's low carbon fuel standard, uh, a program that started in 2010 and extends to 2030 and beyond. Um, uh, and it's, and it's uh, designed to reduce the carbon emissions in California from transportation fuels. And I I individual, there's a variety of pathways to reach it. And one of the one main ones, biggest growing one right now is renewable diesel. And soybeans are really the beneficiary of that demand. Absolutely. We've had a surge in the of growth in biofuel um, usage of soybean oil here in the U.S., and the growth has been almost entirely renewable diesel in the last two years. Uh, one billion uh, gallon demand in 2021. What's, uh, what's the projection for a few years from now? Well, capacity has been announced and, and expected to be built to, to increase that to 4 billion gallons. That may be difficult to achieve because of a lack of uh, feedstock, a lack of fats and oils to produce it. And so soy, there's not enough soybean oil to go around? There's not enough soybean oil to meet all the uses, the food usage and the renewable diesel and the biodiesel and the exports. Right. And, but uh, uh, if, this is, if this could happen, there's, there's going to be certainly a, great, a greater demand for soybean oil if it's all going to be going into renewable diesel. Yes, yeah, so a part of that demand will be met through expanded crush capacity. So there's going to be an increase in crush capacity somewhere in the order of 20 to 25 percent over the next couple of years. It's been announced and, and we're starting to get it. So that will be part of it because we crush those soybeans and we'll have an increase in supply and that will be used to meet that. And that, that goes to increased demand for um, U.S. soybeans. That's our report from the farm. I'm Stu Ellis with WCIA3, your local news leader.